الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Respected viewers, brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Subject of the speech is Verily Allah Almighty exists But how can we recognize Him? According to the teaching of Islam The purpose of life of human being is the worship of Allah Almighty and He is alone responsible for man's sustenance and other needs of his life. He sent His holy messengers, peace and mercy of Allah be upon them, to the people to guide their Ummah as to how do they worship. They established a good example by acting upon the commands of Allah Almighty and lead their Ummah to the way of salvation. It means the religion of Islam. Now, the question is, how can one recognize Allah Almighty because He is invisible and no one can feel his existence. So, there are two ways for this purpose. First is that to foresight and considering in the horizontal signs. And second is foresight and considering in the signs of nas. It means soul. The Holy Quran reveals A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Sanuihim Ayatina Fil Afaqi Wa Fi Anfusihim Hatta Yatabayyana Lahum Anna Ul Haqq Awlam Yakfi Rabbika Anna Hu Ala Kulli Shayin Shaheed Salat Allah Rajeem We shall show them our portents on the horizon and within themselves until it will be manifest until it will be manifest unto them that it is the truth does not thy Lord suffice since he is witness over all things it means that if someone considers over the creation of the universe, the skies, the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, and that how can they come into motion, then he or she can surely recognize Allah Almighty. The Holy Quran reveals أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار والفرق التي تجري في البحر بما ينفع الناس وما أنزل الله من السماء من ماء فأخيا بالأرض بعد موتها وبص فيها من كل دابة تصريف الرياح والصحاب المسخر بين السماء والأرض لآيات لقوم يعقلون صدق الله العظيم Lo, in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the defense of night and day and the ships which run upon the sea with that which is of use to man and the water which Allah sends down from sky 
thereby reviving the earth after its death and dispersing all kinds of beasts therein and in the ordinance of the winds and the clouds obedient between heaven and earth or signs of Allah's sovereignty for people who have sense. We see that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west for centuries. It has not been occurred so far that the sun rises sometimes from the west or from the south or the north rather than the east. Similarly, we see that the sun or the moon never overtake to each other or the uncountable stars moving in the sky and the planets do not look with one another. The reason is that Allah Almighty has fixed their ways for motions as the Holy Quran reveals. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازلا حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون صدق الله الرجيم and the sun runs on unto a resting place for him that is the measuring of the mighty, the wise and for the moon we have appointed measuring till she return like an old shriveled palm leaf. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon nor does the night outstrip the day. They float each in an orbit. Please ponder also in the following verses. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem bismillahi rahman rahim Yukhidil khayya min al-mayyati ويخرج الميت من الحي ويخرج الأرض بعد موتها وكذلك تخرجون. He brings out the living from the dead and brings out the dead from the living and he revives the earth after its death and thus shall you be brought out resurrected. Also, the Holy Quran reveals, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته أن خلقكم من تراب ثم إذا أنتم بشر تنتشرون And among his wonders is this, he creates you out of dust and then lo, you become human beings ranging far and wide. Also says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَانِ الرَّحِيمِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ أَرْوَادًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَتَفَكَّرُوا among his signs is this that he created for you wives from among yourselves that you may find repose in them and he has put between you affections 
and mercy verily in that are indeed signs for our people who reflect. Also says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَالْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِلْعَالَمِينَ صدق اللہ الرجیم And among his signs of the creation of the heavens and the earth and the defense of your languages and colors verily in that are indeed signs for man men of sound knowledge also says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa min ayatihi manamukum bil layl wan nahar wa tiqaukum min fadlih inna fi zalika لآیات اللہ قومی یسمحون صدق اللہ الرحیم and among the signs is the sleep that you take by night and by day and you are seeking of his bounty verily in that are indeed signs for a people who listen also says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa min ayatihi yurikumul barqa khawfan wa tamaan wa yunazzilu minash samaa'i maa'an li maa'an wa yukhyi bihi al-arda ba'da mawtiha inna fi zalika la ayat li qawmin yaqilun sadaqallahul azim and among the signs is that He shows you the lightning by way of fear and hope and he sends down water, rain from the sky and therewith revives the earth after its death. Verily in that are indeed signs for people who understand. Also says, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Wa min ayatihi an taqoom as-samaa wal-ardu bi amrih, summa iza da'akum da'watal da'watum min al-ardi, iza antum takhrujoon. Sadaq Allah ar-Rahim. And among these signs is that the heaven and the earth stand by his command then afterwards when he will call you by a single call behold you will come out from the earth it means from your graves for re- reckoning and recompense these are some horizontal signs of Allah's existence as regards the signs in the nafs, it means so. So the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, said that one who recognized himself would recognize Allah Almighty. This hadith is taken from al Mishkat. It means that if one consider into his creation that how he come into being, that he was only a drop of chicken fluid at first and then he remained in the womb of his mother for a fixed period then he was delivered and was at that time a very small baby then by and by he become young and strong and then he became old one the Holy Quran reveals A'udhu billahi minna shaykh wa adhi rajeem Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Hal ata adal insani Khainum minna dhahri Lam yakun shayun maskura 
inna khalaqna al-insana min nutfatin amshahin nabtadihi wa ja'alnaahu sami'an basira salakallah razim has there come upon man ever any period of time in which he was a thing unremembered lo we create man from a draw of thick and fluid to test him so we make him hearing knowing so in order to become the successful one and to be entered the paradise at the day of resurrection the man should recognize god allah almighty and have faith in him by considering the above mentioned signs and by following all of his command amen